Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Argentina, where we are fighting the Empire of Brazil in a war that I really did not want to fight, but apparently the rest of the men want to fight it, and I am dragged into this. I didn't want to fight this war, I got called to, into it by Peru, and if I would not have done it, I would have suffered a major prestige loss. That's the only reason why I am fighting in this really goodness gracious not great war for me. Ugh. Suffering, I'm back to about 110,000k in terms of the bank. Yeah, this is, it's not the best time to be Argentina right now. Especially considering that we really, we really don't have much of a plan because all of our armies are dying really insanely quick. Especially considering that Brazil has an insane amount of troops. And we're just trying, we're just trying to live. Okay, go. Everyone attack. This is my revenge for all the times I lost against Brazil. Your 3k army, even if you have the upper advantage, you shouldn't be able to hold us off. Yeah. Yeah, just as I thought. 3k advantage, not going to be able to hold us off. Apparently, Brazil is also at war with... Brazil is basically at war with the rest of South America. And they're kicking everyone else's butt. Yep. Because I wasn't... Mostly because I wasn't quite prepared for this war, and they were, so props to them. Let's see, jungle, still, why the, no jungle. That makes me kind of annoyed. Go destroy that army, just because it's probably the only army we're going to be able to destroy all game. Uh, unless Brazil, get, unless we get really lucky with Brazil, but probably not. Over here, are you guys sieging up where I need you to siege up? Oh my gosh, you guys aren't. Guys, don't focus on Brazil. If you focus on Brazil, they're going to destroy us. Uh. Well, I at least can say that Argentina is fighting with good fury and honor. I mean, we're doing our best, even in a bad circumstance, okay? Everyone else, I can't really talk for because they're kind of... Conquest of the desert! Yay! Even while we're at war, we still go and go... Expanding our realm downwards. Empire Brazil goes bankrupt. Wait a minute. Oh, that's good right there. That's great. Um, you know why? Because that means all their forces just took a big, gigantic nosedive in terms of like power. So, in retrospect, I should be able to beat this army. Even if it's more advanced than me, because right now the Brazilian army is nothing but paperweight compared to me. Hopefully, hey, no, you don't get to move. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you don't get to move. I get to destroy you. But you'll be able to escape. I'll be so mad if you'll be able to escape. Oh my goodness. No. Don't you dare do that. Let's see. I'm not going to move this army back into position. 26. Go! Everyone attack. Okay. I don't think he'll be able to escape this time. Yeah. That'll just, that army will just hold him there while my other army comes in to go destroy him. And we can start... Birth rate stable! This is good news, I guess. You guys go attack. Go destroy this last little Brazilian army. The Brazilians are now basically Swiss cheese, which is what we needed them to be. Which is a lucky, lucky thing for us. I'm glad we have not gone bankrupt in a while. So, their army's now dead, which means we can start unseaging a lot of these places that we had. Meocracy versus Aristocracy. That's a very interesting event right there. Okay. Um, that means we only have one more big army of Brazil to deal with. And basically, Brazil is, you know, nice and floppy for us to take. And we do have enough infamy right now, so we could probably take some land from them. Um... Although, I'm actually thinking that we should do something else. And that something else is a little bit more risque. But, let me see if I can do it. Let's see. Uh, propose, wait, wait. Show, can I add a war goal? The war is not going well enough. Oh yeah, because we don't have the war score. But, as soon as I unseize my land, I should have a much better grasp of what we have. Automation, yes. We got that now. Okay, let's go send half the soldiers to go right here, send half the soldiers to go right there. That way we don't suffer any kinds of, you know, bad effects. I really don't want to, you know, kill off all my men before they have to die. Yeah. Should be able to siege at a pretty good rapid rate, though. 
Okay, once we unseed there, that should be able to give us good. Let's see, currently 33%, yeah. I'm basically going to have to go and go destroy that 22% army to go and do stuff. Yeah, I'm basically going to have to go send my army up north to go fight in there in this war to go deal with these guys. Um, I'm pretty sure Brazil's probably got its act together again. It's probably now got all of its troops back together. But for at least a brief period of time, we did have an advantage over them. And... By the way, what, what region are we fighting for again? Uh, Equatorian Pastasia. It's probably this region right here. Let's see, Equatorian Pastasia. Yeah, we're about to conquer all of it too, so... There we go. Yeah, there we go. And let's see... We're taking as much as we can from these guys. Ah, oh, man, this is, this is becoming like a war. It's not exactly the war I would have liked to fight. It's definitely not even a war I would have even fathomed the fight right about now because I still wanted to do a lot more stuff. But, by the way, what, what prestige are we at? 1.98, yes. Catching up pretty quickly to Brazil. And it seems like most of our people are being naturally born, too. They're not Irish anymore. Huh. That kind of that's kind of makes me sad a little bit because I actually did like our Irish population. But let's go unseed the last little bit over there so they're not winning. We should start to receive some type of bonus for... Conquering all this land. Yeah, we own all this land now. Um, that should give us a bonus. Yep, 4%. Hopefully, you guys are going to be smart enough to go send your army to go reinforce. Hopefully, you're going to... Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. They're going to win automatically. That's good. Um, let's see. We have a couple armies over there. We're going to try to crush through the Brazilian capital. That way, we can make these guys really, really want to, you know, not want to stay in this war. Because we don't want Brazil to stay in this war. That's definitely something we don't want. Um, we want to end this war as soon as possible. And Brazil, if Brazil wants to get out of this war, I'm pretty sure the rest of the world will be like, "Yeah, we, we really, we really don't want to fight this anymore." So we're gonna try to cross. We're gonna try to cross through to the Brazilian capital. Let's see how much supply limit is right here. A thirty. We could actually support this. I'm surprised, but we could actually support that. Okay. So let's see just for really quick. Let's see all these problems. Turmoil or research? Turmoil or research? We actually would need to research. But still prestige. Because prestige is still somehow saving us. Great leadership emerges. Huzzah. Okay. Keep sieging up all this. As we slowly start making our way towards the capital. Um, other stuff we should also start doing is get the last little bit of classical theory. Um, all right. We're gonna see right. We're gonna see right up to Rio de Janeiro. That way, it'll give uh, Brazil a ton of problems, which is what we kind of need them to do. By the way, cut down the size. How much would that give me? Give me ten. Infamy not really worth it. Uh, liberate a country. Peru, Bolivia, Rio del Sol. I don't really want to do any of that. Acquire a region would probably be the one thing I would want to do. Or I guess acquire. Hmm. You know, for 5.5 infamy, getting, let's see, wait, wait, place under the sun. So wait, acquire the Brazilian Amazonians. Okay, so how much would that give us? Let me just look at Brazilian Amazonia. Amazonia is right over here. Okay, what's the population like? The population is basically garbage. And it'd be up in the north, and it'd be basically nothing. So no, we would not want that region. But what would we would want? Let's look around the regions and look around. Because this is probably one of the few chances we're ever going to get at least. Well, this is a good chance for us to, like, stick it to Brazil. And claim something from them. So we better take advantage of it. Um. Um. Claiming this right here might bring me some happiness, but let's see. What would be a good population place? Uh, do these regions actually transfer to be mine? No, but let's see. 553, 89, South Palado. That's probably a part of the major. Ooh. 
Okay, so if we were to take this region right here, which is actually has a decent amount of population, produces coal, tobacco. Hmm. We'd have to take this region first. This is this is Castro. Okay, I think I, I think I got what I want from this from from this war. Is is that I definitely want to. I definitely want to split up the empire just a little bit, and what I want is acquire the state of not San Parado, although I really want that, but I'm going to have to take it in like a future war. I have to expand basically, oh I could, I guess I could expand by, no but that split up my empire and that'd look really, hmm, I kind of want this region though, oh man. I mean, this is okay. Gives me a port, but this gives me... Hmm. Eh, you know what? I do... I'm finally... You know what? I finally decided. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take what I was really gonna get. This was what I was gonna get anyway, San Paolo. No, no, no. What's that region called? What's this region called? Uh, Panama. Panama. If I get Panama now, that means in the future wars, I could probably take more. Okay. But let me make sure that this is the really right decision. Make my puppet. Oh my goodness. I could make the entire empire of Brazil my puppet. You know. That wouldn't be quite a bad idea, but then again, I kind of do want future Brazilian land to be owned by me in the future. So, I mean, nah, it's still not a good idea. I do want this land to be mine, so. I want it to be mine! Okay, so. Let's get Parna. There we go. Took a lot of infamy for that, but I don't really care. And let's see. You guys go right over there. Let's see. Let's build, like, two cannons. Two different regions build like one siege guy we're basically gonna attach it to these people and we're gonna have them go siege up a lot more stuff because we need to siege up a lot more stuff all right especially if we want to take over what regions we want we got 66 percent war score in terms of that which is good rest our brave soldiers wait do we have lots of do we have lots of war exhaustion right now our war exhaustion is uh, what's our war exhaustion like? 58, yeah. Some some rest would be nice for our people. They seem they seem very weary of the entire war. Okay. We're going right up to the capital. We're gonna siege the capital up. And that will make Brazil like collapse, which is what I'm hoping will happen again. Over here though, it looks like they're suffering a lot. <laughs> go figure, I should say, go figure. Okay, I'm hoping maybe I can, what I'm hoping is going to happen is I can sneak a deal with, um, with Brazil secretly, so I can get this war done with on my own terms, because it may, it may not end unless I do it my way, so let's see, alright, we got our soldiers being made, get our last little bit, one more soldier, once our last little bit of soldier is made, then we'll go siege up some of these lands, finish up with our good war score, Having their capital will basically give us a massive amount of war score. I mean, seriously. Alright, there we go. Go to Rio de Janeiro. And once Rio de Janeiro is sieged up, we're going to have a good time. Let's see. Has the American Civil War happened yet? Yes! It has. And it looks... Um... Actually quite promising because both Mexico... Both Mexico and the Confederates are at war with America. So, well... Only Mexico actually has an army, but that's actually really promising because the Confederates could actually pull something out. Maybe. I don't know. I may be a little bit too hopeful right now. I mean, if the Confederates win, the United States is rapidly more weaker, which is what we kind of want. Okay, you guys go over here, start, sie start sieging up all that. We're sieging up Rio de Janeiro, which is what we kind of need. All right, Brazil, you guys... They would accept this offer. They would accept. Wow, they they really. Wow. Okay, good. Yay! 
And with that, everyone, I took the part of a little bit of Brazil, split that empire a little bit in half. Now we're going to quickly demobilize. I'm probably going to keep the cannons that I took because actually we didn't need to start building cannons. Probably not the appropriate time to start doing it, but yeah. Our interest is now really high again, so... Yep. Gonna do that, gonna do that, gonna do that, gonna do that. No payments of anything for our government for a couple years. As we slowly try to pay back all of our interest. Uh, do we have any kind of closed? We only have one kind of closed, which is not too bad. Closed factory, let's see. Do we have actual capitalists starting to move into our country? Uh, still no capitalists, which kind of stinks. Let's see, can we get some capitalists in our country? If I increase the top three or four places, could I actually get some capitalists in my country? Like, seriously. Like, some capitalists would be really nice. And let's see. Parma, what does Parma go into in terms of our population? It's about 94k. Wow. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good buy right there. That's a good buy. I got 94k more people in my land, which means I have a rapidly more powerful army. And... Yeah, that was a, for the glory of Argentina! Yay! Good times for everyone! As we slowly start to expand across the entire strait. Yay! Okay, and we're ninth right now. Okay, what do we have to do to become top dog in the world? Because I swear we should be really... We're really close. Right now, Bavaria is the only nation that's beating us. Okay, we're about 40 points off. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. So about 40 points off, mostly it's because of industry. Yeah, because we beat, we basically beat them in, like, prestige. So, if Bavaria has a major economic crash, that would seriously help us. <laughs> and I would honestly not be mad. Okay, but yes, we do need to start getting this interest paid. Oh my goodness, this interest. This interest is going to be insanely painful for a little bit. Okay, uh, that means we're also going to have to increase administration efficiency. Because we do need to get that money. We do need that dough. I do say that a lot, but we do need that dough. And let's see. Uh, Brazil is probably like, what the heck happened? We were doing so well. Why did we just get beaten by, uh, by like, Argentina? There we go. We pay back more of our loans. That gives us even more money to spend. Yeah, this is what, this is what basically we're going to have to do for a couple years. As our, as our place is recovering. And let's see. I'm going to have to figure out a good place to, like, put all my soldiers. Because I'm pretty sure this is a big army now. Yeah, with as much population as we have. Okay, supply limit. This place right here can support it. So let's go send our troops over there. And let's try not to suffer too much. I mean, we do actually have a good amount of force limits. We actually have a good amount of force brigades possible. That makes me very happy. Still don't have quite enough to where I'd like it, though. And But the good thing is that Argentina actually looks pretty big. And our population is pretty good. The United States is not quite winning the war with the Confederates. They're losing a ton of soldiers probably in the war with Mexico, which is really good. Mexico still has a decent amount of army themselves. So yeah, it seems like the United States might stay divided, which gives us even a better chance of even overshadowing the United States population. Oh man, that would be really awesome if we just like overshadowed the United States population. Oh, that'd be so cool. Okay, and we're moving all of our soldiers inward. There we go. They should reinforce at a good rate. Okay, you guys. Let's see. Is there any kind of factories that we need to, re uh, need to reopen? Probably this one. We need to do anything. And then let's pay back all the loans. Get me less interest. Yeah, just keep giving me less interest. That's what we kind of need to do. Because we need to have that less interest thing happen. We also need the administration bill where it gives us more... Uh, you know, power. Another thing we may have to start thinking about is a little bit of colonization in the future. Because when the nations, when this, oh my goodness, when did Baband come out? Yeah. Uh, before, okay, let me finish this thought before I go to a new thought. Basically, oh, and our capitalists aren't growing, so I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch to a different thing. But basically, we need to start growing, we need to start growing even more, and I think if we conquer some nations in Africa, we could have a pretty good amount of empire. Okay. On to the European theater, not much has really changed since like, since like Ireland was born and apparently Bant has been born, I didn't even know that was a country. Uh, Sweden looks really fragmented right now, and let's see, is there any other kind of big changes? Burma I think got a little bit smaller, let's see. No, Burma's about the same size, and Denam I know got a little bit bigger, they are not that big. 
So, yeah, that's the rest of the world, people. I'm glad you guys took a nice little tour of it. So let's see, let's also repay some loans. Yay. Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been another lovely episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Love you guys. See you guys next time.